You and Miss Knee High to a garden gnome. You guys deserve each other. Have your stupid, dumb little babies, and I hope they keep you up all night and cry. I mean, green leaf stretch marks divide and multiply. I thought my curse was bad. Get out. Your beloved son isn't here. He'll be so sad he missed you. I'm not here for Ethan. Well, if you mess with me, you'll go home with stitches. And I don't mean the ha-ha kind. Instead of cracking what looks like a pretty good bottle of wine over my head, why don't you open it and offer me a glass? Because I will end up with a nice little friendly knife in my back. It's time I stopped lying to you. Okay, here's a couple of reasons why you wasted a stroll across the courtyard. One, truth, lies, they all sound the same coming out of your mouth. And two, you have a problem with Ethan, leave me out of it. I've had it up to here with parent-child headbanging. I mean, aside from Miranda, I don't know why the hell anyone ever has kids. That is so far off my radar right now. So please, cut me a break, get the hell out, and take your little family dysfunction to Dr. Phil, please. Last time I checked, we weren't family. <clears throat> this is between you and me. Back before Ethan found out who he was. He was your best kept secret. I tried to guilt you into dumping him so we'd have nothing keeping him here. Yeah, he could ditch me and that annoying attempted murder charge. Well, that was a lousy thing to do, and I'm sorry. But my job was to keep Ethan from finding out that I'm his father and to keep him away from anything cambious and out of this town. Well, looks like you're 0 for 3, huh, Pops? Hey, this is funny to you? He will change. He's going to turn into his grandfather. Or, if he's really cursed, he's going to end up like me. Regardless, you don't want to take that on. Warning received. And half-ass apology accepted. Now get out so I can finish my rampage. One more thing. I have a favor to ask you. Well, you really are something. Mr. Zach Alexander Cambius Slater Jr. I've torn my ticket with Ethan. He's not going to see reason anytime soon. You mean bringing him to your senses? Yeah. Yeah. So you want me to what? Snuggle up to him at night and whisper in his ear? Hey, lover, daddy was right. Lose the Cambius name and the zillions or the curse will come true. Would you mind? <laughs> you have gone off your meds. Right. Out of your mind. <laughs> if anyone knows where he is right now, it's you because you've lived it. Well, what is that supposed to mean? You've been down this twisted road with your mother. The extremes that you went to when your mother rejected you. You wanted to destroy everything in your path, including yourself. It's not going to happen to my son. Ethan, Erica Kendall. Is there some sort of moral equivalence? If you give him a personal tour of your hell, maybe you can spare him that pain. OK, listen up. Any pain that your son is in, you own it. Not me and not Ethan. And you are a much bigger slime ball than I thought if you actually think I'm gonna side with you against him. I was just leaving. He has completely lost his mind if he thinks I would ever side with him and hurt you. Sax is a slow learner. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I uh, have a surprise for you. Really? Yeah. Call it, um, early Father's Day present for a very special dad. You got Zach a present? Yeah, a whopper. Seems your gaming license is under review. That happens periodically. The, uh, kicker is somebody told the, uh, the State Gambling Commission that you've been operating your casino under a false identity. You shouldn't have. It's just the beginning. So, how does it feel, flexing the cambious muscle? To bring you down? Brilliant. I plan to make you very proud. Something you can think about when the rest of your life starts to slip through your fingers. I have to take this. Will you show our guest to the door? Thank you. Yes. Cambious name works fast. It's not the name, it's you. I mean, after everything you put him through, what the hell do you expect? 
Peter, he wants to punish you, and really, I can't blame him one bit. I'm just the first. Now, if you like the boy, which I think you do, you gotta help him. Tell him to give it up. The name, the power, the money, all of it. Before it's too late. No, but I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. 